Fish on. Hey guys, who's ready for a fishing video? I do apologize for only having uploaded one video per week for like the last two weeks now. I know y'all are hungry, fiending for more videos. With all these storms brewing around here in Florida, tropical storms, hurricanes, depressions, I'm taking my boat out of the water, putting it back in, taking it back out, in, out, in, out. It's been a struggle to get some content for y'all. Not to mention, I just broke my fifth or my sixth GoPro and it was my last GoPro. But don't worry, I ordered a new one last night. The only upside right now to this weather is that I was finally able to create my first synthwave song. That's right, I make music. It's purely for fun though. I have two tracks that I'm working on that should be out in about a week. If you wanna hear the song that I just put out, head over to my It's Bad Weather so I'm gonna stay inside and game with the boys and make music channel. 69 chins. It would be pure epicness, pure epicness, if I hit a thousand subscribers on that channel. 69 chins is my, it's more of just a fun character that likes to play games and get himself in a little bit of trouble. So if you're into that, head over to that channel. If you're not into that, that's fine, because we got a fishing video right here, right now. So in this video, Caitlin and I, we went right off Molasses Reef here in Key Largo in about 130 feet depth of water, and we did some bottom drifting with Bonita strips. Fish on. He's got a little spunk to him. Yeah. I'm gonna film with one hand and net with the other hand. Nice, you got it. You go. Okay, you're good. Wait. Come on, mutton! Yeah! Oh, we don't need the net for that. <laughs> he still looks good, though. Yeah, right? So cute. Nice. Nice. Pretty boy. Beautiful. Pretty boy. Beautiful. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. That one, I think that's a keeper. I think that's it. Oh, no. no. Oh, it might be coming off. No way. Looks like it's coming off. I mean, whatever made that run is coming off. Or you're reeling in ahead. That's what I know, right? I don't know, we'll see. We, we, maybe it was a grouper grabbed it and spit it back out. Oh, I see the weight. Okay, weight off. I'll get the net ready. Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay, you gotta grab the net. There we go. Got it. What the fuck is this? African pompano. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Those are really good eating. What's like the size limit or whatever? I've never even seen one of these before. Good work. All right. That was worth it. Let's measure them. All right. All right. How big is he? What? 22 inches. Yeah. So they gotta be 24. So depressing. <laughs> is it a blue mouth? Okay, he's got to go. That mutton snapper, as pretty as he was, was just a little too short. So we threw him back, and that African pompano was Caitlin's first African pompano she's ever caught. But he was also just a little too short. We'll get him next time. But it ain't over yet. The next evening, Caitlin and I, we went back out to the same spot right off Molasses Reef in 130 feet of water, and we did some high-speed Where's it at? Some high speed trolling with these Yozuri plugs. It's got a little bit of wire on it. You can see he's a little bent up. I don't want to do a little spoiler alert, but maybe we hook up. Look at that wire. Straight to 200 pound test of mono. That's what we troll. We troll these guys going uh, anywhere from 14 to 18 miles per hour. So we're trolling these pretty fast. Let's see if we catch something. All right, here we are trolling at about 14 miles per hour 
and it's about 6 p.m. Also very important, make sure you tie your rods with some rope or a dog leash to one of your cleats. When you're trolling at these speeds and a big fish hits your lure, it can sometimes rip your rod out of the holder. No way. Kind of looks like a mahu. Oh, like, wait, is that a kingfish? Oh, yeah, hey. babe. Woo yes. I highly suggest bleeding kingfish if you're going to eat them. Whether you grill them or smoke them or fry them, just cut their throat and they will bleed out nicely, leaving you a much cleaner and more delicious meat. The sun is falling fast, so we call it a day, but what a beautiful sunset. I fillet up the kingfish right on the boat. It's dark at this point. My cat, Captain Elliot, somehow always knows when I have fish. He came down the dock, jumped on the boat, and got himself some fresh kingfish. I wrap up the kingfish, bring it upstairs, and I try something new. Normally, I brine the kingfish fillets in salt and sugar and no water, as you've seen in all my past videos. But this time I filled a bucket with water, added two cups of white sugar, two cups of brown sugar, and two cups of salt. I put the kingfish in this brine and put the bucket in the fridge overnight. I put the brine kingfish on my Traeger smoker at about 160 to 180 degrees, and I let it smoke for about four to six hours. Whenever the kingfish has that nice, golden, beautiful wood look and color, you know they're ready. Juicy, delicious. Let's go. Time to make some fish dip. We got our smoked kingfish here. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. So put your kingfish all into the blender here. Once all your fish is in there, uh-oh. Blend it up in there. All right, that's good. Now it's time to add all of our ingredients. Mayo. We'll probably do about a cup of mayo. One, eight ounces of sour cream and one chunk of cream cheese. Cream cheese going in. Plop. And we're gonna add some celery salt. Not a lot, just a little bit. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Not a lot, just a little bit. Some paprika. Not a lot, just a little bit. We got ourselves a lemon. One lemon, we're gonna squeeze it in there. Just the juice. Kitty's got himself some smoked fish over there. Stole it out of the container. <laughs> Blend that up. Look at this. It's been nicely blended mm -hmm. for a few minutes. And the last thing we're gonna do is add our greens now. Cilantro, two jalapenos, and three sticks of celery. Chopped up by yours truly. And then you just wanna blend it for a little bit. You don't wanna over blend it now.
We packaged up the smoked kingfish fish dip and gave some of it to our friends, gave some of it to our family. I, I probably ate most of it myself. That stuff is good. That stuff is like the good good. If you ever want to make some smoked fish dip, boom. I know this was a quick video, but there's good news. There's two days of good weather coming up and I'm gonna be fishing both of those days. And hopefully I can get some more videos out for y'all. I'm still dying to catch a swordfish one day. But till then, thank you guys for watching. Smash that subscribe button and that like button. And if you're into gaming or you just wanna chill with me, head over to the 69 Chins YouTube channel because if it's windy outside and I don't have a fishing video to edit, I'm probably live streaming on there and just chilling with my subscribers and having a good old time. Thanks for watching and cheers. <laughs>